road. Johnson's Garage. We've been drinking. Well, the neighbor. Adam is out here working on his rig. I went around and aired up his tires. He is adding some kind of light doomahickey to his doomahickey. What? No doomahickey to my doomahickey. <laughs> <laughs> She's almost done. This night shot is something else. I can see everything you're doing, even without that light. I can see better than you can see. Well, and then I can see too. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're just out here bullshitting and working on stuff. Well, um, that's a done deal. <laughs> it's actually solid, too. That is like, that. we need to work back here, but I can't <laughs> see shit. Don't worry, I got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, okay. This is what I was going for. <laughs> this is happening. <clears throat> I got these lights. I'm, I meant to use them. And they're just like... <sighs> oh, my God. I'm impressed that your lights are even working because I remember for a while. They're blown out. I don't like, understand. I just put the fuse back in and it's working again. I don't. Like, what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> You're like, all right. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> trying to put that we were trying to put his cb radio on and we're moving it around the dash and all of a sudden we just smelled this burning smell i don't like understand. we hadn't even hacked into anything yet he just started working on it something again i don't know and then it's like okay hang on don't don't touch the remote <clears throat> what is, okay what is this catching on it it's it's these doing the hickeys they broke i bought more it's the panel <sighs> Oh. So I gotta take it out and, and put more in. I put a few new ones in it. Oh, that's right. The window doesn't turn the thing on, so we gotta. Uh huh. But 
That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and as you see, we got power right here. It should be, you know, somebody's gonna be like, that should be a surge detector. I'm like, hey, can no, you got one, you want to send that? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> but that, you're like, how did he tap the power for that? <laughs> well, well, nobody you. really needs to know that. Well, I'm gonna tell him because it's funny. The amp kit on this is overkill. So it's like 1600 watts. It's huge. It's fucking, it's fucking huge. It's, 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 her boobs are huge. Your boob, big boobs. <laughs> and so anyways, so it's tapped to that, which goes the back to the amp fire that's powering the sub. It'll, that sub's like 300 watts. It's never gonna pull that kind of wattage. No, it'll blow up before you d it does. 20 amp fuse. No, it's a 50. Anyways. So we got 400 watts, work light, we got our toolbox here, we got our tools, you know, you're like, <clears throat> so my plan is mobile workshop. There's a few other things, I'm slowly getting it to where I need it. I mean, got the box, got the work light. <laughs> it's there. That's awesome. Oh, how about and meanwhile, the shop cat's like, hey. Damn it. Why do I always do that? Like every time I open this. Oh, yeah, that's great. No more. We can have problems. You can almost just leave it kind of loose so you can at least ratchet it. Yeah, I think I might actually because it, it does ratchet it now. Like I'll tighten it just a smidge. That's I'm awesome. I'm leave this in here in the toolbox. Just like... That's fucking awesome. <laughs> uh huh. I bought these lights for $35. I'm like, I'm going to use them. Uh, I figure work lights, the next one's going to be mounted over here, I think. With a power switch, so we can just turn it on. But then again, if we have the hatch open, we don't really actually need it. No. That's... I just got to figure out what to do with the last single one. I'm thinking about attaching it here. Attach it in the very center. Uh-huh. It's like right here. That's funny. So this is lit up, this is lit up, and you're just like, God, I need to get my fuel off. So he's going to run his power inverter. You think I should start it? I think you should, just so that it can be at max voltage. <clears throat> I think you're, uh, oh, it's plugged in. Yeah. So he's got the, the hot snot gun plugged in there. It probably will take a few minutes for it to warm up. And the inverter hasn't squawked at us. Mm -mm. It's far, I, I went overboard because last time I had a 200 watt. Really couldn't do much with it, but it powered Beep. Up. Yeah, all the time. So I went with 400 watts. I probably could have went bigger, but I went middle of the road because it was affordable. And it had a mounting, if you, if you want to come in here, we'll uh, go right here. That's the mounting bracket. The bracket is actually attached to the sub box. Yep. Is she, is she spooging? She is ready. All right, so we're just gonna go up here. We're gonna actually change the light here because... See, and the best part about this when you alternate it, the harness is so long, it just moves with it. You know, technically, you could still have that light housing in there. No, I actually didn't leave it like this because as it is now, watch, look at the harness. Look what the harness does when you Yeah, I know, you still got slack. You could still have the other de de herbivore oh, working no, in there. I'm just gonna, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. This is a, this is a, this is a work truck. No, just kidding. I thought this was a truck channel. Meh. Well, you have heard it before, so you might think so, but yeah. we're a variety of... Bullshit! Holy mess. Freaking, someone's drinking cat piss again. Oh, that was me. Well, um, I'd gotten some stuff from, uh, yeah, I have just have not been out here to clean this crap up. Got some stuff for the bull nose. Hope that's gonna work, we're gonna find out. Well, uh, yeah. That's uh, that's for the vacuum pump upgrade and the bull nose. I'm waiting on the pump still. Um, so that'll probably be Thursday, I think I'm supposed to get it. 
Um, I was just dinking around with some alternators. This is the one off the Lincoln. I have a big case uh, 3G in there now, 200 amp alternator, and she's working pretty good. This one's pretty well crapped out. Had another 3G from Todd's Bronco off his 4BT. And uh, brushes are getting pretty well wore down. And what does AVE say? Focus, you fuck. Yeah, so. Then I found this. I don't know what the hell happened to this. It wasn't me that did this. Look at it, things all broken. Junk, and then check out commutator bars. Yeah, just great. Man, I got some cleaning up to do. <clears throat> it's just a freaking mess. Got new jack stands. Uh, thanks, Dad. Got me some stuff. It was actually my birthday yesterday. Um, it looks like those are big enough now where I can actually lift my truck. And get the front wheels off the ground let the axle drip so we can get to doing some stuff with that I have uh, some new C bushings I want to get installed in there uh, but anyways it's just one of those rambling videos I uh, have cab lights on order they're coming in soon and then I'm still waiting for my vacuum pump don't know when that will be and then ran over to the junkyard today. I did not do a video because I was just looking for Lincoln stuff and I didn't really feel like doing a video and there wasn't much in the way of trucks stuff. Uh, went into town to work on a friend's Ranger. Uh, nothing too spectacular. It has no spark. These are for uh, explore <laughs> Explorers Adam. Adam's Explorer. Found these off a of first gen XLT. So I'll put those in the hoard. I have the screws for it too. Um, I was after wiper linkages. Found two different cars out there. One was a 92 and one was a, a 99 Mercury Grand Marquis. And it had mint wiper arms. So see the newer one the 99 was this and then you can tell by the color of these this is the newer one yeah so this is from the 99 and this is from the 92 and they're the same yep same I'm gonna use the newer one on this car. And oh, I got another, another one of these. I'm gonna fiddle fart with those. Um, he also has a stereo. And my friend's Ranger, he's got a stereo that needs to be installed. So, I don't know. If you guys wanna see a Ranger video, uh, comment down below. And uh, I'll, if he's okay with it, you know, doing video stuff, um, then maybe we'll have another video on that. We'll have a mini truck video. That's why I had the wire bucket in there because I thought we were going to get to doing uh, wiring up his radio. Um, but since his rig doesn't run, I was like, well, what's the point of putting this radio in? And it doesn't run. It's like, yeah. So. I'm gonna order up an ignition coil for it. I tested everything else on it and it's all got signs of life and doesn't seem to be kind of wonky or anything. Um, and it doesn't have spark. Fuel pump works, it comes on. And he has fuel pressure. Fuel pressure regulator wasn't hooked up on it. Isn't that funny? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we got cab lights on order. Uh, they're not quite the factory ones. Um, but they're uh, a little bit different style that I kind of liked, a little bit older looking. Um, so I got those on the way. That was like 40 bucks for the kit, it really wasn't that much. Um, so that's on order. Uh, vacuum pump is on order. Uh, so hopefully we can get this thing uh, 
fixed up and I'll have, I'll have power brakes again. Um, someone commented and kind of complained about where I put my antenna, which I thought was kind of silly because I like where I have my antenna. Um, it, I was gonna mount it in the back, but I kind of like it, you know, right there in the middle. So, whatever. It, I mean, it's an antenna, it's not supposed to look pretty. So, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, what's the, what's the problem? Five footer antenna, everybody asks, that. yeah, it's a five footer. I probably would've been all right with a, a two footer or a three footer, which I have plenty of. We've got like four different antennas right here. I could switch it out. But uh, when me and Adam were out on the trail, we could hear each other just fine. Um, so even kind of being far away, um, we could still hear each other. And I had to put a new corner light in here because the other one had broken. And you know what? I ordered a pair and still haven't gotten it. And after I ordered them, when I was looking for them, LMC truck didn't have any uh, available. Now that I've ordered a pair and only gotten one, LMC truck all of a sudden is like, yeah, we have brand new ones. And they even have the Ford uh, logo in there. So I'm gonna hop on uh, LMC truck again and order two of these and put this one in the Horde. Um, it doesn't even fit right in the gaps bigger than normal and it's not all the way in and it's not even screwed in. I just pressed it in there and it hasn't come out. So my neighbor's Toyota Tacoma here, he wants to put a um, leveling kit on it, uh, which basically what we've been looking at is a uh, basic, like a two or three inch leveling uh, strut kit. So it would just basically be a spacer between a strut and the strut tower. So he wants to do that because it's pretty cheap. He doesn't want to lift it too much. So I told him, you know, if we, if you wanted to go six inches or something, like what I got going on here, um, he's gonna have to do a cross member drop kit for this. Um, and you know, new leaf springs in the back, longer shocks. I mean, the struts alone are gonna be a lot of money too, because he has to get longer struts for that. Um, but I suggested, you know, he just wants to level it. He, it's a four wheel drive and he just does not like the rake that it has on it, which, you know, this look kind of stupid with, uh, uh, you know, being a four wheel drive truck, um, he does go out in the woods once in a while to go hunting and stuff. So, um, he would like a little bit more ride height up front, up front and just level it out in general. Um, but what I suggested, you know, if we level it, um, he should put airbags in the back of this thing. So if he does put an animal or something in the back and, you know, let's say it's a fairly heavy animal or let's say, say he goes and gets uh, a bunch of stuff for a project or just a number of things that could lower the ride height in the back and cause a negative rake, um, giving, it, giving it the Carolina squat, um, which we don't want to do. Um, I suggested, you know, airbags. And one day, I was out here drinking a little bit and I got to looking underneath his rig because I wanted to see what it looked like, how clean it was. And it's, it's pretty clean, it's still like brand new. It's like an 07. It's like nobody, it's like 130,000 miles or something like that. Pretty low, it's clean. And I'm looking under here. And I'm like, Ron, what's this? <laughs> I was like, you know, they're deflated right now. And he's got airlines and stuff right here. I pop the hood on it. And sure enough, this rig has a, um, a remote control air ride system in it installed. It's got the, the brain box and the pump and everything is still under the hood. Everything's functioning. I actually pumped it up and it lifted the back end up. Our neighbor Ron has some plans for his rig um coming up soon i don't know when he wants to do all this probably when it's nicer out uh but uh yeah i would expect to see a uh, a video on his tacoma um he's gonna get new wheels and tires for it he's gonna get some uh he's thinking 31s but i'm thinking if he does the leveling kit up front i would just go to 32 or 33 inch uh, tire and then uh you know 
maybe stick with the same size wheel, but maybe give it some offset. Well, anyways, that's enough about the neighbor's rig. Uh, stay tuned to those. Stay tuned for those videos. I think he's planning on getting a bumper for it too. He's got some things he wants to do. So, comments and suggestions for his rig. Comment down below. Ah, bonus video. This is gonna be the end of the video. If you don't want to watch it, well, this video is over. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you some stuff here. Part of the sound system. We'll give you the sound system update in this video. So I got my new battery terminals in. These are from New Concepts. Uh, pretty nice. I added a extra ground wire because, as you can tell, I got a brand spanking new alternator, 200 amp Power Masters alternator. But uh, she works pretty good. Working a lot better than the other one. The old one had uh, all the windings were turning black. So, yeah. This is my battery relay. So you have power coming off of here, going over to here. When the radio kicks on, this turns on, and it connects the rear battery to this battery, and of course the alternator charges both of them. It works pretty good, and then when you turn it off, the rear battery turns off, or gets disconnected. Um, let's see, this wire here. Oh, this red wire runs into the cab and it goes on to the, uh, it hooks up to the radio amplifier turn on. <clears throat> That's where that gets its power from. And of course, it's just grounded right to the chassis. Works pretty damn good. And look how ratty this trunk is. Man, we need to fix that. I'm waiting for it to find another white Lincoln out there. If when I do, I'm just going to get a new hood and we'll swap it over. Um, so, yeah. Alright, here's the sub. I was going to run this into the carpet, but I, I got just a tiny bit lazy, but I'll probably get around it later. Um, but yeah, so, same terminals we got up front. Go to the back, and I routed this cable um, under the uh, trim inside the car. And it runs along to the back, comes out through the corner there, hooks into the battery, and then we use the GM side posts. Go to the uh, sub and amps. Now I gotta show you guys another funny thing. So that Mountaineer I was gonna get from Todd. Look at my garage, Jesus. What a mess. Anyways, I got these wheels for that Mountaineer because I can't stand the ones that were on it, but I, I ended up losing interest in getting it. So I did, you know, sorry Todd, but I just, I, I kind of like the Lincoln better. And so I've been, you know, of course you guys know I've been messing around with the Lincoln. So these wheels fit uh, the Lincoln just fine. Um, and even the tires fit too. They're 30, 235, 75, 16s, or 15s, excuse me. And it fits in there. I haven't put them all on and drove it around to see if it catches on anything, but they do fit pretty good. Um, just, you know, sitting on the ground. So my thought was, because it looks so much, these look so much better than the ones that are on it, especially with having a bigger tire, I thought about getting some BFG KO2s, throw them on here, and throw those wheels on that car. Um, plus I would, wouldn't have a need for getting like a snow tire or something. And uh, yeah, I've got the truck, but you know, what if I end up doing something to the truck and like recently the vacuum pump's gone out um, and you know, all I've got is the car. Uh, so I'd like to have the car prepared. And in fact, you know, I've driven it two days in a row where there's two inches of snow on the ground and I didn't have a, I didn't have a problem. The car drove fantastic on the snow and ice. So if it, if it does just as good as the truck on snow and ice, you know, I might as well just get some good tires for it. Plus the wheels make it look better. Um, you know, makes me happy. Um, but that's just something I'm gonna do later. Right now it's got pretty good tires on it. We've replaced those the end of last year. And uh, now that it's got a steering alignment done and all the suspension's good, it's not eating the tires. They're all wearing perfectly. So I'm not too worried about that. But that's something I wanna do later down the road. You kinda need it when you live out in the woods. Um, because I've had two times already I've had to take detours 
that were on snow and gravel pack roads and it was a little sketchy. All right, I remember in a South Main Auto video, somebody asked, you know, why does my wiper arm go past my window? Um, well, you see all that movement? That little bit of movement there really throws her out. So I'm gonna show you the problem that I'm having here, and that's why I grabbed those linkages. Okay. So these have keys, plastic keys on them. Don't lose your keys. The passenger side on this is missing its key and I stole one from a junkyard. I know I have them and I've got extra clips. I'm taking these too. But yeah, these keys like to fall out. Just plastic, all they do is locate it so you get the uh, dim hickey spot on. <clears throat> Set it at top. And then you can pull back like this. Yeah, see? Missing the key. Luckily I have one to throw in there. <clears throat> Finally, no longer smells like coolant under this thing. Because for a while, when Adam was driving it, it just reeked of coolant and he was always using coolant. And I'm like, something's wrong with this. And then eventually you figure out, oh, the intake is leaking at four spots. And later on it ended up being five. Um, after all these repairs and stuff we've done, this has been a really nice car. It's been very reliable. Um, I mean, like, freaking going off-road with it. Uh, snow, ice. <clears throat> Man, it doesn't matter. Uh, she's been a really good car to me. And so, that's why I'm keeping it. And I have future plans and upgrades for it. Um, some of y'all haters are gonna hate, but uh, hey, this is my car. Oh yeah, don't forget. <clears throat> Set that aside. This bushing, look at that bushing. Just walks around. Same thing on the other end. Okay, this cover already has one tab broken off of it. Uh, two tabs. Easy removal. The only thing holding it in is a seal. <clears throat> so these have a funky system here. It's got this little cam in here. When the motor turns on, it, it turns just enough and then this cam pushes this up and then the wiper arms come up and then it it stays in this locked position and it does its thing and then when it shuts it off it, they come down to a uh, new like kind of a neutral and then this retracts back and then they go back down in the thing and then it parks so sometimes when you see Lincoln's or even grand marquees a lot of cars that have this wiper motor set up you will see the wipers park in the upward position. So when it does that, it's not because the motor can't park, it's because this mechanism isn't retracting. So the motor goes into what it thinks is park, and your wipers end up going in the upright position. So let's grab a flathead screwdriver, we'll pry those off. So yeah, look at look at that. This is why I grab new linkages. 
other reason why is I could not find replacement bushings for this, so I just went through some Lincolns and town and Grand Marquis and stuff that had less mileage. Uh, Crown Vicks are the same. I think mostly it's the bushing that she has wear, not just in this ball part, but it has on the outside wear. But who knows if it's actually wore the metal down? So just gonna replace it. I'm gonna roll with the 1999. Mercury Grand Marquis ones, these are the same lengths, but the bushings are really tight, really good. So we're going to rock with that. Same thing with um, this one here. It's only dirt is gone. We're going to clean the ball and stock it. And we'll clean this one out as well. Just get some of the old grease out. Now you may notice that your the ball portion <clears throat> is a little corroded and a little rusty. Basically all I did is clean mine up with sandpaper just to smooth the edges down and then just throw grease on it. A lot of these cars are gonna have that. I think the only real reason, only real way to fix it is to have someone make a new <clears throat> make a new socket or a new ball and then just roll with decent bushings and these are they're still pretty good I had an idea tubes okay so this is the other link from <clears throat> the 92 that ends loose this one's pretty good so what if we took this is the newer link we want to use this has got some play in it this one doesn't I believe the bushing the bushings are all the same size so what if we pop this one out I have, I have a really good idea. So that one's good, that one's wore out. So we use that. This is the new link we want to use. This is the other link. I'm not worried about that little bit of play. It kind of rocks around just a little bit. No super duper play. It's really nice inside, so we're good with that one. We'll roll that. So let's take this link, which has a good bushing rocks around this one does not rock around so let's knock this one out replace the wore out one and then we should be good let's see if we can get that with vice grips all right let's try something here this is going to be a little crude but let's try it so we want this good bushing here so we're going to do this Got it. This one's floppy. Let's do the same thing. I think we can just kind of do something like that and just push that in like that and there we go. That one's a little scored up but we're going to lube her up real good. 
It was still difficult to take off. <clears throat> Man, these things go through hell. Might need to get some vice grips on that. Oh, that's much better. Move freely. That one's all dicker. All right. So this piece right here has got this little clip. Don't lose that. You just lift up and pull on it. And you're good to go. Um, I've got a bunch of these now because I've been taking all of the all the arms. Oh, a little crusty there. It just comes right off like that. Goosey goosey. Now, luckily for me, this is from the newer rig. That's pretty tight, it's not moving around. The ball looks nicely polished. It's not, um, not messed up. But I'm just gonna do the same thing. Get this down in here. And clean her up. Actually, that link that I grabbed, I just grabbed, is from the older one, but it has a better joint. This is from the newer one, and this joint's getting loose. So, I think I'm gonna start going to the junkyard a little more often, and I'm gonna grab a bunch of these that are good, and just to make it last until I no longer have the car. I plan on keeping it for a while until something happens to it. You know, if, if a, you get into an accident and it gets totaled, that's probably when I won't have this car get something different I honestly will probably get another one of these but I'll probably get a newer one like a you know an 06 or something that'd be really nice to have a fairly new one okay <clears throat> Woo! that hurt Look at that, we got a little bit of play in there and that's only because this has a little bit of play in it, which is normal. That ball right there seems to have a little bit of play in it. So, I mean, I have some other joints we can mess around with. I could swap that out. Or we could just do it right now and find a better one. So then I took the bushing from the 99 drag link. <laughs> which was loose, I pressed it into our uh, 99, um, I guess we could call it a tie rod end basically. And look, solid as a rock. Uh, it certainly goes on a lot harder, which is good. Uh, nice. Oh, that's a little better. There's just a little bit of slack in there because of this. Oh yeah, that's tight. I like that. Oh, well, she's back together. Also, make sure to hook up your washer thing. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's got tension on it as I'm moving it that way because it's flexing the arm. So that's way better. Now I got the key in there, so that's actually at the right spot now. So that's cool. 
I'm real happy about that. All right, everything's put back together. Let's, uh, let's see how them wipers work, huh? So, yeah. And then we'll intermittent. This still goes past the thing, but it doesn't have any play in it, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's as good as that's gonna get. You guys wanna hear the radio? Here we go. Pause, pause. <laughs> oh, gotta go.